Hello, welcome to a video on the differences between the basic versus the expanded version of the ProLedger Online software. So we're going to talk about what's the difference between basic and expanded. And if you want to upgrade or downgrade, how does that work? So stay tuned. Let's check it out. All right, let's first of all take a look at what's the difference between basic and expanded. We're in the program and the difference is really quite simple actually. It's when you make an entry uh, with the basic version, you're gonna have only these three options available. You're gonna have a business class, a personal class, or a split, which means you can do entries that are split between personal and business. And that's covered in another video. And basically split means you can de predetermine how much of an expense goes towards business, versus personal like an automotive expense if you have 80 percent of the time you're using the car for business that means you can split it 80 percent business 20 percent personal but anyway you're going to get these three categories in the basic but uh, you won't get anything more so for example in the expanded version you're then able to set up different projects and properties and for each one of these you can have a separate income and expense statement. With the basic version, you get one income and expense statement with uh, these three items. And with the expanded version, you can add trucks or properties or customers and things that you're wanting to track on an ongoing basis. That's what the expanded version gives you, uh, is the ability to have more classes. And you're gonna notice that when you go to the setup screen under classes, under the, um, the basic version, you're not going to see project one, project two, and so on, or, or even the ability to name these or add more to them. You'll just simply see the top three. Now, um, if you end up having the basic version and want to upgrade to the expanded, you can just go to your account, you know, and you can actually just uh, upgrade the, uh, the, the, the subscription, and that immediately unlocks the screen and allows you to add more classes in and that sort of thing. On the other hand, if you're an expanded customer and you want to go down to the basic, well, the good news is you won't lose any data. You're gonna have all the data that you had, including the names of these extra classes, but when you go to make an entry, um, you're not going to be able to access those extra classes, okay? You're gonna be having to stick with these three only. And the other thing is, you know, you won't be um, able to add any more classes or modify these class list. So you won't lose any data by downgrading, but you won't be able to make entries into those classes either. So anyway, so you are free to upgrade, downgrade anytime, but that's how that would work. And hopefully that'll help you. This, uh, this video helps you.